Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of equations and inequalities. This is standard 7.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have this equation that's modeled, but we just see some bars with x's and some little squares with ones, and then we have an equal one, and it almost doesn't look like an equation. We need to solve for x. So let's see if we can break this down a little bit. You see all of these, uh, these bars in these boxes. Really, all we're modeling here is addition. That's all we can model. It's very difficult to model multiplication or division. But what we're going to find is that this actually does model multiplication a little bit. So let's just add all of this. So watch what I'm going to get. x plus x, and there's five of them, plus x plus x plus x, right? Now plus six ones. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus 1 equals 1. That looks kind of strange, but you know what? It actually makes sense if we start condensing it. So let's take our x's and let's see if we can simplify them. How many x's do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to represent this with 5x. And you might think, can we do that? Can we show this multiplication? Well, let's just substitute something really easy for x, right? Let's just substitute x for 10. Well, imagine if we were to add 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. That's 50. That's 5 times 10. That's 50. So that's how they show multiplication when we are modeling here. This is an array. It's not a very complex array, but it's a 1 times 5 array because it's one row but it's five columns across so this is 5x we're going to do the same thing here with our ones and that makes more sense for us let's just add the ones one two three four five six all right so this is actually how you show 5x plus six and then i've just got my one over here well we know what to do with this but they just didn't give this to us in the equation form they gave it in this visual form. So we've got 5x plus 6. So we need to isolate this variable. We need to think of our order of operations. And we're always kind of moving from the bottom up because the bottom up is going to be our weakest connections and that's where we're starting. So any addition or subtraction we're going to get rid of first and we do have an addition. We have a plus 6. So if we're going to do uh, get rid of this addition, we need to look at its inverse operation, which is subtraction. So instead of add 6, we are going to subtract 6 from both sides. And so these two cancel out. So now I've got 5x, and I've got 1 minus 6. So 1 minus 6 is negative 5. If you're not too sure about that, here's my 0. Here's my 1. Now I'm going to go back 5. Remember, subtraction is always to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's negative 1, 2, negative 3, negative 4. I've done 5 jumps. I need to do 6 jumps. So there is my negative 5 right there. So I got 5x equals negative 5. Now I need to uh, get rid of the 5 times x, so I'm going to use my inverse, which is division. Remember, I'm moving from the bottom up. So 5 divided by 5 isolates that x because it's just 1. Now I've got negative 5 divided by 5, and that is going to be just like 5 divided by 5 is 1. Since I've got a negative, x is going to equal not positive 1. It's going to make a negative 1, which makes sense. We're going to need a whole bunch of negatives to cancel out all of these positives. All of this cancels out right here to just make this one. So our answer here is J.